Hello guys! Today I want to share with you some tips and resources that will help you to become a UX designer. In my previous video I have explained what are the steps you should take if you started this path and in this one I want to share some uh, resources with you uh, so you can know not exactly uh, how to become a UX designer but where to learn it. In my previous video I have shared some tips uh, and steps uh, to help you become a designer so if you have not watched that video yet please uh, watch it you can find the link to this video somewhere over here in the recommendations section. So how and where can you learn the UX and UI design? Here are the main ways. Online courses. Online courses is the great and easy way of learning uh, something new. This is the way that I have learned the design so far. Uh, at the beginning of my career I was not uh, uh, familiar with this topic and I did not even know that design exists. But after learning about this for some while and passing a few courses, I've gained the knowledge I had and I was uh, ready to start practicing the design. Uh, there are a lot of courses and depending on uh, the one you want, you can uh, pick a solution for you. For example, some of the courses are free, uh, some are not, and they all uh, provide different uh, qualifications for you, so there's a lot of them. Uh, I will share uh, some useful resources uh, also in this video. Uh, the negative side of learning uh, the design online is that in some of the courses you can always uh, see the recorded videos but you are not able to ask for feedback or communicate with the mentor. This is the Notion uh, document uh, with a list of all resources. I will add them uh, down this video in the description session so you can check all of these links by yourself. So let's focus on the online courses right now. Uh, there are six resources that I really like and let's look, uh, take a look at them. Uh, the first resource is the Coursera. They have the full length courses on different topics and most of them from, are from uh, very well known universities around the world. So you can sign up for a course that you're interested in and take it on this website. The next resource is the Udemy website. They also have different courses and uh, this one seems to be very interesting. This is about the user experience design fundamentals. And as you can see, the price for this course is not high as well. The next website is the Udacity. Uh, this is a cool website and recently I have signed up for a product design free course on this website. They are covering different topics. And this is the one that uh, is about the user experience. Uh, they cover uh, themes like user-centric uh, products and uh, research-driven UX designer. So you should be checking this website if you want to learn UX design as well. This is, uh, uh, this is the particular course from the Coursera that I liked. I have not taken this, but seems to be very promising and interesting. Uh, they say that they are covering the basics of user experience and telling about the principle and the processes. This is a very important topic when you just start in the UX design. The next one is the Skillshare. Uh, uh, this is the website that you can have a free subscription to if you have not uh, created your profile on this website yet. Uh, they cover different topics which are design research, interaction design, mobile design. You can find uh, short courses uh, like for 45 minutes, one hour, for example, to understand the user testing or Figma or any specific instrument you might be interested in learning. And the last but not least resource is the Interaction Design Foundation. I have heard a lot of good feedback uh, about this website. They're mostly covering uh, different uh, topics on the UX design and uh, it's great to have a certificate of uh, this platform. Offline courses. This is the great way of learning as well. Uh, comparing to the online courses, all of the study happens offline where you can uh, come somewhere one, two or three times per week and meet other designers that are learning the same topic with you and you can make friends. This is the most uh, 
important part of this uh, thing that you can communicate with other people, you can support each other and you will always see the support of a teacher that uh, teaches this course. Uh, the negative side of this is that uh, usually uh, a course might happen in the other part of your town, so it will take some time to commute to that place. Courses that you can find. I have prepared the three links for you and three courses that you might take. This is mostly the organization that has uh, courses that cover different topics. Uh, all of them are based in Ukraine, but if you are interested in taking the offline course somewhere where you live, you can try to Google some options or maybe ask the HR of your company what are the courses that you might take and they would suggest you something for your growth. Let's look at the three uh, companies I have prepared here. The first company is the Beetroot Academy. Uh, this is uh, an amazing way of learning different topics related to the uh, IT and technologies. They are covering not only basics of design, but also the development. And uh, yeah, you can find different courses that you're interested in. And the next uh, uh, great way of learning is a Projector. They have uh, offices in most uh, Ukrainian cities and even in Europe. You can find some conferences, uh, some events and uh, ways of learning on this website. And the Apollo Design Center, uh, it is based in Kiev. And also, they also have different meetings for designers and developers and have some trainings on the user research, product design and UI design. Uh, okay, let's uh, move on to the articles and blogs. Articles. Articles is a nice way of learning design. Uh, the most uh, amazing about articles is that uh, most of them are short and it will take for you from 5 to 10 to 15 minutes to learn about a topic, to get an overview, uh, to learn something and after this you can uh, start practicing and gaining knowledge uh, and this is amazing. Uh, the most uh, negative side of this is that there's too many articles right now and for example if you are searching for some topic you can get different uh, opinions and uh, might not understand which of them is correct so you will need to filter all of the information and all of the articles you find uh, to uh, find the one that will work for you my favorite uh, articles and blogs uh, right here i am providing links to the blogs that I read most of the time and where I find the most useful content. I have prepared six links for you and this is uh, a very good start. The first resource is the UX Collective. They have uh, their blog on Medium and uh, from my experience most of the uh, articles that I find really interesting and fresh I find um, in this resource. The next one is the Smashing Magazine. This is the very great resource with the articles covering different topics, uh, including UI and UX design. Uh, also, some of the articles here are longer in length, so that might take you more time to read them, but they are really valuable, so checking this out. The next one is the Inside Design blog from Envision. They are covering all topics uh, as the previous websites, and I like the articles because they have a nice way of uh, writing information, very comprehensive and easy to read. And also I like the length of the articles. They also have uh, some videos in here and you might find the content that you are looking for. The next one is the Inside Intercom uh, blog. Uh, this is the blog from Intercom there where they uh, write about their experience designing things and you might find some interesting article related to the design, uh, product vision, uh, working with customers. So they do not focus only on design, but covering more other topics like design leadership strategy, etc. The next one is the Dropbox design. This is the uh, blog from Dropbox where they covering the same topics and they have the school design. So check this out. And the last one is the Spotify uh, design blog. Uh, I like the blog because they have a nice design as well and very, very useful and interesting content. I find a lot of useful tips here, so recommend you to check in this out. Okay, let's move on to see the best books I recommend. Books. 
books are great if you want to learn uh, about every specific topic and get the deep understanding of it. This is amazing that usually the author takes one topic, for example, a typography or color theory, and he makes some solid research on this topic and provides you uh, with the great information that it is easy to digest. And after reading a book, you can uh, understand this topic much better than you did before. And uh, this is amazing that we have uh, many books uh, regarding to the user experience. The negative side of this is that some books uh, might not be very interesting or they can be long. So if you do not have enough time, it might take you a while uh, while you can read this. I want to share some cool books with you now. Let's now talk about the list of the books that I would recommend you to read if you want to learn the UX design and design in general. I have created the long list uh, with many books and I want to cover the my favorite ones. The first one is the Design Better resource from Envision. Uh, the main benefit of this resource is that they have different books that cover topics like remote work for design teams, animation, enterprise design sprint, and many others. And these books are easy to understand and they are not long. Uh, you should definitely check it out because you can easily uh, get a nice and solid knowledge in each of the topics only by reading them. A great resource. The next book is the Don't Make Me Think, uh, also one of my favorite books that I would recommend you to read. Uh, the next one is the About Face the Essentials of Interaction Design. This is very interesting in covering the uh, process and the vision to the work in general, so I recommend you to read it. The next one is the Project Guide to UX Design. This book will be really helpful for you if you want to develop for yourself a process and to follow it and do not know how to uh, do this and where to start. This is the great start for you to start practicing design. And even if you are not sure about some of the uh, methods you might use, this book will help you to get started. The next one is Lean UX, uh, a great resource as well. I recommend you uh, learning this if you want to apply different Lean principles to your work and make sure you provide uh, fast and great solutions in a short period of time. Emotional Design, uh, another great book by Non Norman. I recommend you to read this. Uh, this one is the UX strategy, uh, how to devise innovative digital products that people want. Uh, this one is also great if you want to better understand all the processes of the UX design. So please definitely check it out because it is uh, one of the best books that cover this topic. And uh, the last one uh, is the User Experience Team of One Research and Design Survival Guide. Uh, this book is great because it can help you if you are working on a freelance or working as a single UX designer in a company and do not have support or mentorship from other designers and you want to know all the UX design methods and try to apply it to your work. This is the great book that will help you to do this. Uh, in this resource, uh, I've added many of them, so please do not hesitate to check it out and uh, read at least a few of them to get started. Podcasts. Podcasts are great because you can always uh, learn them and uh, listen to them when you have some free time. For example, usually when I do some stuff uh, around the house or cleaning or cooking, I can uh, put my headphones in the ears and start listening to a podcast. There are many podcasts that cover different topics, so you can find the one you are interested in and listen to this. Usually it do not take much time, so one uh, series of podcasts can uh, be around 20-30 uh, minutes, which is not long. Uh, I want to share some podcasts uh, with you. And here is the list of podcasts I want to share with you. I have prepared several resources, um, the first, uh, six resources. The first one is the Design Better podcast from Invasion. Uh, they have all the set of resources and not only podcasts, but also books and articles. So I highly recommend you to listen to it. They only ha already have a few seasons of videos and you might find some great insights uh, listening to it. Uh, the next one is the UX podcast, one of my favorite podcasts. I listen to this all the time and almost all episodes are great and I find something useful there. 
The next one I want to share is the UI breakfast, also a useful forecast, and you can see uh, some well-known uh, names and people who are invited here, so recommend it. The next one is the UX pod, uh, the same, a uh, very interesting podcast. The next one is the metric, the user experience podcast. Uh, a lot of uh, useful content here and the UX defenders. All of these are great. And if you have some free time uh, to listen it even by doing something or by commuting somewhere, I recommend you to do this and spend this time doing something useful and learning something new. Let's uh, look at the YouTube videos then. YouTube videos. There are many channels on YouTube right now that cover the topic uh, regarding design. Uh, so there's a lot of things you can share. Uh, for example, there are many people who are uh, practicing UI, UX uh, or UI design like I am and sharing the knowledge on YouTube. This is the great way of learning because you can uh, watch some short uh, videos, uh, learn something interesting. And even if you have some questions, you can always uh, add them in the comment section and the author of this video will be able to reply to you. Uh, I want to share some great uh, YouTube channels with you. I recommend you to uh, watch to find some nice content there. Uh, the first resort is my channel on YouTube. I have not started this a uh, long time ago, but I'm trying to create and post content almost every week. So if you are interested in learning the basics of user experience design and want to learn about my experience, Please uh, definitely check it out and subscribe to not miss any useful content. The next one is Fox. Uh, this guy is covering uh, basics of uh, web design. He has a lot of tips on the freelance. So check this out if you are interested in learning about the process and some useful tips. The Age is Smart. Uh, this is uh, also my favorite channel that I watch all the time. They cover topics like product design, design sprints, workshop and training here. So if you are interested in these topics, uh, then I recommend you to subscribe to it. And the Elisa UX, uh, great content, uh, always very useful. So uh, learning and I'm hoping that you will be successful while becoming the UX designer. Thank you very much guys for watching this video till the end. I will share a link to all of the resources that I have shared with you today in the description section of this video. So check out that Notion document for more details. Uh, if these steps uh, that I'm shared and the resources helped you to start in UX design, uh, please let me know in the comment section. I will be happy to hear about your experience and maybe you can even recommend some resources that you like most of all. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to not miss any of the useful content in the future. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!